gonna try and shuffle out. Make this motion. So here's my triangle. I'm gonna make this motion right here. Okay? Um, you know, the opportunity to come up to this part of the country and expose the national team. Um, you know, it's very rare that you have the national team of any sort to come to you know, the great state of West Virginia. So, you know, it's an opportunity right now to keep promoting the game uh, and to see a bunch of these young girls come out on, on a night like tonight, 150 kids in a short period of time. Um, it's very exciting that the game is continuing to grow nationwide. Uh, this is only the third one we've done this year and, and, and we don't have anything else scheduled. So we'll do about three or four a summer. So, um, you know, they're very well attended because of that. Um, and it's great that they, the girls are able to get on the field with the best players in the country. You know, you think about it. How many of the best players in basketball get on to do a clinic with some of the kids in the basketball court? How many of the best baseball players get to do this? So for us to do this and get to the grassroots of softball, the ASA level of junior ball, is important to us. Good job. Good job. Good Um, well, basically, I've had to sacrifice just about every shred of social life that I've ever wanted, but I realized that I wanted this more than I ever wanted anything else, so um, it took a lot of extra work, took a lot, a lot of staying after, the, after practice at the fields, a lot of going to the cages by myself, a lot of hitting up the tee in the garage. Um, it, it took just about everything that I had, extra of everything, um, and it, worth every second. Like I'm, I'm glad that I skipped the stuff that I did in, in high school and in college to be here because this is worth every second. We love Sam! kind of been a rough journey these last two to five to two months. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in July 21st of this year. It's been a struggle. <laughs> yeah, but when I came back after surgery, I was, I was kind of hard on myself. It's made me want to play harder because I realized what I can and can't do. The philosophy uh, of the head coach that goes down into this is to give back. You know, that you don't forget where you came from, and the, where you came from is the grassroots level of softball, and that's where you started. You know, and, and remember when you were young, who were your role models, who were your heroes? That's what we want you to be right now. So get out there and, and sell yourself, sell the brand of ASA softball, sell the brand of USA softball, create new heroes, and that's you guys. I, you know, it's a great game, and don't ever lose the fact that it's a game. You know, it's not life and death, because if it was, it'd be a lot of dead people, you know? So it's a great game. Play it, enjoy it. Don't worry about scholarships, and don't worry about competing at the, at the W's and the L's. Play the game. Enjoy the game. The scoreboard takes care of itself. You'll get good because you love it, you know? So I think, if anything, is just take away the love of what goes on.